Quick 6. Electricity and Magnetism Hello! How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is electromagnetism? Number two, what are the materials needed to create a sample electromagnet? And number three, how does electromagnet works? What is electromagnetism? Study the graphics below. Can you say something about it? So based on the graphics that we have, the first graphic is an example of a magnet. It can attract objects such as nails, pins, or even wrench, and other materials that are made out of steel and iron. While the second one was an example of an electromagnet that uses electricity to charge a metallic object and act as a magnet. What is electromagnetism? Electromagnetism. It is a study of the relationship of electricity to magnets. It means transforming electricity to create a magnetic force. Hans Christian Ørsted. He is a Danish scientist who introduced electromagnetism in 1820, where he built an electromagnetic coil. He noticed that when electrons flowed through wires, the nearby compass needle moved. This showed that there is a magnetic field around a wire carrying electricity. What are the materials needed to create a simple electromagnet? Materials needed to create an electromagnet. Number one, battery, the source of electricity. Number two, wire, the passageway of the electric current. And number three, iron nail. This will serve as the core. How does electromagnet works? In electromagnet, the nail is the core. The wire is coiled around the core. The electric current is supplied by the dry cell. If you place dome pins near the electromagnet, the pins will be attracted. When you disconnect one end of the wire from the dry cell, no current will flow and the pins are not attracted. As long as the circuit is closed, the pins will be attracted due to the magnetic force while there is a flow of current. The strength of a magnetic field of the electromagnet depends on the number of loops of wire and the amount of current in the wire. In particular, the more loops or more current, the stronger the magnetic field created. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.